Amen. So now we're going to transition into a time of child dedications. So we believe here at Grace, as Scripture says, that men are called to sacrificially love their wives as Christ sacrificially loves his church. And that men are also called to bring up their children in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. So that's why it's our joy and our privilege here on Father's Day to incorporate child dedications into our service. And there are two main reasons why we do these child dedications. First is for the family. It gives the parents an opportunity to express their commitment to raising their children according to Scripture. And second, for us as the church, it gives us an opportunity to proclaim our support and for and partnership with that family. So now I'm going to introduce, we have one family during this first service who will be dedicating themselves and their children to the Lord. And so when I call your child's name, uh, please come up here as I read what you've written about your family. So we have Lucy Joy Wisdom, born March 26th, 2019, to Jeremy and Deanna. Lucy is our spunky and sweetest youngest of eight. She lives up to her middle name and has brought our family immeasurable joy. Lucy has had some significant health challenges, and we are thankful for a church family for surrounding and covering her in prayer. She is a tough little gal. We are excited to watch her life unfold in the upcoming years. Amen. Jack, would you come lead us? So I get the privilege of giving the challenge of this dedication and asking them the questions of commitment that they're going to be giving and also for you. We call it a child dedication, but you guys know that this is really a parent commissioning as well. We dedicate our children because they belong to God and they're a gift from Him. The Bible says that children are a blessing from God. And if these little blessings, if Lucy Joy is going to know and experience God's love, they're going to see it in Deanna and Jeremy first. But they're also a part of a church family. They're part of a church body. So you guys have the privilege and honor of also speaking into their lives and also praying for them. I want to read a passage that we read regularly during our children dedication time. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 5 through 7. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And these words that I command you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise. So God's way of teaching us how to follow him is by us making disciples, teaching our children. We should be talking about God's word, God's truth all the time, and I happen to know Deanna and Jeremy personally, and if uh, you've ever been here, you know them personally, Um, and I'm so glad. What a wonderful family, so it's my honor to to be a part of this dedication. I'm going to ask you three questions. These three questions are serious, even though we ask them every time. They, They mean something special, and when I get done with each question, just answer with we do if you do, and the kids... If you're serious about this, you can also say we do if you want to be a part of this. Question number one, do you acknowledge your children as a gift from God, and do you dedicate them to the Lord today? Do you promise with God's help to teach your children to love God and his truth by your words and by your actions, by your example, so that they may come to know Christ and learn to follow him? Do you promise to give your children every advantage of the ministry of the local church? I'm laughing because Deanna also helps lead Route 56 where the children are involved in growing in their development and leadership. And I laugh because they are an ideal couple and family of of really giving their children every advantage. Now, would the rest of you please stand up as I address the last question to all of you? Do you promise as the church family of these precious children to pray for all of our children represented in our church and Lucy Joy? And when the opportunity arises, do you commit to finding a way to lead these children to love God and love people? We do. Well, thank you. I want to invite families and friends of those Uh, of the wisdoms. If you would come to the front, we're going to pray for them publicly, openly, and you could just come up and put your hand on a shoulder, preferably Jeremy's shoulder. If everyone (laughs) could try to...
Would you please pray with me? Father, today we celebrate the precious gift of life, and we thank you for Lucy Joy, whom you created in your image and whom you love so deeply. We know that she mattered to you in eternity past, and you desired that she would be here to be a light and a reflection of your image, and we thank you for the joy that she provides. Thank you for entrusting them to Jeremy and Deanna. Would you help all of us to raise our kids in the discipline and instruction of the Lord? We celebrate your worthiness to be loved and followed, and would you please help us in building our homes? May these families be more shaped by your values than our cultures, and may we as your church family serve and support them well. We dedicate ourselves and our little ones to you, and we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.